Okay guys, today was my last day of seeing movies at the Whiskey Creek Film Festival, and I only saw one movie today, which is just fine with me, because, you know, after seeing four movies and a bunch of shorts yesterday, sometimes just just one movie is all you need. Well, anyway, the movie I saw today was called The Magic of Belle Isle. It's a new movie directed by Rob Reiner and starring Morgan Freeman. Rob Reiner is, of course, a very talented director. He's made movies like The Princess Bride and This is Spinal Tap in the past. And Morgan Freeman is one of my favorite actors. I mean, he basically elevates anything, but... Overall, this is an a average movie. There's nothing really special or distinguished about the magic of Belle Isle. Just kind of makes those sort of a uh, comedy, uh, drama, melodrama, tearjerker, just kind of, uh, just the sort of movie that you would be, be perfectly content watching at 3 o'clock p.m. on network TV on a Saturday, when you, there's nothing else to look at. Uh, Freeman plays a, an alcoholic, uh, writer who goes off to, to house it for the summer on this kind of, like, East Coast, sort of, you know, su summertime, basically. And the movie follows the, uh, the kind of predictable arc of how he gets his inspiration back with the help of the local people, particularly the family next door. The, the family next door consists mainly of Virginia Madison, who who's good here. I mean, she she's generally good in the in pretty much anything, and she, and her three daughters, each of which is named after a, a different sort of a plant theme. Let's see if I can't get the. Get the list of the the character names here. We we have uh, we have the, her daughters are named our name is our name Willow, Finnegan, and Flora. So so yeah, each each of the these three daughters is played by a very talented young child uh, actress. The the three child actresses names are Madeline Carroll, Emma Furman, and Nicola Pirini. But both of them are very good. I'd like to see more from them in the future. I can imagine they could become very, very well known stars, or at least well known actors. And other actors in this movie include Keenan Thompson, who of course I loved watching in all that, and Keenan Kell growing up watching Nickelodeon. He plays Morgan Freeman's nephew, who. He basically isn't used much here at all. He's basically kind of like a wallpaper, just as a way of introducing him to the community, and just talking to him once or twice since then. Then there's Fred Willard, who's all who I love in all the Christopher Guest movies. He he here he's here basically for two scenes as comic relief and doesn't really amount to much. And then there's Kevin Pollock, who appears near the end as the as the Morgan Freeman character's literary agent. Now the. Now, the, the major driving force behind the Freeman character in this movie is the one of the little girls from next door who, who re really likes stories and wants to learn how, how to write. When she learns that the Morgan Freeman character is this, is a writer, she wants him to teach her how to write. And there's lots of scenes where he's basically kind of like yeah, semi-seriously mentoring her on, on the importance of the imagination and how to create stories and stuff. Like, and this is the sort of thing I like. I like story it's like this. It's just not... Nice, come basically. This, this movie is like comfort food for the brain, and there's nothing groundbreaking here, nothing particularly dramatic, nothing particular, nothing particularly serious in it. Just a very pleasant viewing experience all, all the way through, which is perfectly fine on its own. But you'd expect more from Rob Reiner and Morgan Freeman. But, but anyway, so. So now that means I've seen all the movies that have been showing at the Whiskey Creek Film Festival, and well, you know, I'm back here in Morris now, as you can prob as you can tell. But there, the movies will still be showing for the next couple days in the cozy. So I figure, as long as I'm here, I'll I'm going to let you guys know what my top three recommendations for movies at the, to see at the Whiskey Creek Film Festival will be for the next couple days while they're still in the theater. Uh, my my top recommendations are uh, the Kid with the Bike. The, the brilliant movie about the young, young troubled uh, youth who tries to connect with a, a woman in, in Paris while trying, well, just trying to find connections with people as, as a result of being abandoned by his father. A brilliant child acting, a brilliant direction, that's, that's a movie to see. Also, uh, Beasts of the Southern Wild, which is just this fantastically audacious 
com completely different movie that you've never seen before, also with the great acting from people who you, who would not recognize. Uh, Calvin J. Wallace as Hush Puppy and Dwight Henry as her father, Wink. Uh, re really great performances there. Fantastic directing their spectacular imagery, and probably one of the best musical scores you'll hear all year long. And then the, the third... My third big recommendation of from Whiskey Creek Film Festival will be Moonrise Kingdom, the new movie from Wes Anderson. Just a, 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 charm, a charming, beautiful to look at a storybook a comedy featuring a, a great cast of, of talented, well-known actors do, doing their best, sort of a, a dead, deadpan comic, f just really just kind of fun, pleasant movie to sit through. So... Those are my three big Whiskey Creek Film Festival recommendations. I would actually, I'd, I'd say pretty much all the movies at the film festival are worth seeing, but if you need to see three, make make those three the movies to see. And with that, that's all, all I have to say. I, I really enjoyed being at Whiskey Creek this year, and I hope to come back next year to see some more, more great movies at the Cozy.